three Q and A's in a row. I hope you're happy because usually only my Patreon members get this. But like I said, I want to put the SIU apprenticeship questions and information out there for everyone. Uh, I really just want, want to be able to help you guys with all that. So here's some more SIU specific questions that I've got on the channel. If you are interested in other Q and A's, go check out my Patreon, link is down below. And I'm just gonna plug all that in right now. Uh, don't forget, I also have my other channel, which I made for my uh, auto automotive stuff or any of my hobby stuff. It's gonna be Project Northwest. I'll put the link here, up here, and then like at the end of the video or something. But if any of you are here for that stuff, Go check it out so question number one for the SIU apprenticeship Q&A what kind of photos do you need to send them it says four photos like passport so are they all just a frontal view or do you send some of the side profile like mug shots it's just four passport photos you could go to pretty much anywhere to get passport photo you go to like your post office you go to Walgreens I think even Rite Aid <clears throat> um, just don't, you know, be normal in your picture, like you're taking a serious picture, because it is for an actual government document per se. So, question number two, what is that? Question number two, quick question. Remember, I just, I copy these down exactly how you all write them. So if these are your questions, and when I read them out loud, they real, you know, you realize how funny it sounds. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it word for word. <clears throat> I'm not saying this next question's funny or anything, but I get some questions where some of you just misspell things and things are off. So a quick question, after you complete all phases, can you give me a rough estimate on how much you could potentially have saved up for money earned during the apprenticeship, given that you save most of it? Uh, rough estimate, we'll say between, because I don't ever talk numbers, you all know that. But, another plug, my Patreon exclusive tier I have started to trickle out the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're interested, links down below. But to give you a rough estimate of just what you'll make in the apprenticeship, in the five phases, which you're only gonna make money in phase two and phase four, phase two and phase four, you can expect if you don't spend a single dime of it, around 25,000 maybe, for, you know, I'm gonna leave it right there. Question number three. Do they let you keep the beard and long hair on duty? What about during the schooling? Just curious as fellow long hair. Ha ha. Uh, I think, a lot of you, I get both sides of when I, I tell people I'm a merchant mariner, they think either I'm in the military or they think, I say I'm a merchant mariner, I work on ships. So they either think I'm in the military or they think I work on fishing boats. And it is neither of those. You can have as long of hair as you want when you're on the ship. Going through the program, the first four phase, well, we'll say phase one and phase two, you can grow your hair out. Phase one, you, you have to be clean cut. Phase two, you can grow your hair out, be kind of dumb, because when you go back for phase three, you have to be clean cut, clean shaven again. <clears throat> After phase three, you go to phase four, your phase four ship, you can start growing everything out again. Uh, the ships don't care about head hair you can grow your head hair as long as you want depending on what type of ship you're on you can grow your beard out but 
not on tankers, not if you're on the fire team, you know, and it's, it's kind of up to what's going on on the ship, but pick and choose your ships, I guess, you know, I don't know, but you can grow your head hair out after third phase all over again if you want. This is gonna be a Northwest Sailor. How much does the SIU uniform cost? I believe the last time I checked, it was $445. I think the last time I checked, $445. But I can't tell you what all it comes with anymore. But you get pants, shirts, khakis, jackets, winter coats. I mean, you get everything and for $445, you're getting an entire wardrobe of clothing, which basically covers you for the entire next year through the program. And you can continue to use those, the clothes at work. You know, it's, it's not, for some people, they might see $445 as like, you know, one-time purchase for clothing. and They might think it's a lot, but you have to realize that the clothing that they're gonna give you is going to last you through the whole program and gonna be work clothes. So it's not it's not that bad. <clears throat> question number five, what are we doing on time? All right, question number five. Hello and thanks for the video. Just wondering how long could, just wondering how long could take you for the program and is it easy to get jobs contract after graduation? Thank you. Uh, me personally, it took me a year and a half. I had like two buddies that finished it within one year exactly. Other people took a year and three quarters, you know, a year and like eight months. But for me, it was like a year and a half. And it all matters how fast when you get off, when you get off um, phase two, how fast you get back to the school and then how fast they get you a job for uh, after phase three, going to phase four, how fast you get that job, and then again, when you get off phase four, how fast you get back to the school. Me personally, I took like a month, month and a half off in between the phases just to enjoy myself, but you could do it within a year, it could take you a year and a half, and after, graduation after you finish the uh, apprenticeship program again as fast as you want it's gonna be now up to you unlike in the apprenticeship program they get you your phase two ship they get you your phase four ship once you finish the program you have to go to your own union hall and get a job and jobs are always plentiful you just have to you know you can't be picky sometimes but there's always jobs Guaranteed jobs. Question number six. How many hours do you work a day? Where do where does the ships travel to? That's not really a, a, a program question, but I'll answer it. How many hours do you work a day? Uh, my first ship, I was working 12 hour days, seven days a week. And I didn't really travel. I went to Japan, South Korea, Diego Garcia, and that was pretty much it. Uh, but ships travel all over the world. It's, I just, I did another question just a little bit ago about how somebody had asked like, oh, you know, the international trade is mostly um, foreign, right? And, uh, like, no, not, I mean, yes, but it doesn't mean that US flagships don't go all over the world. I knew apprentices that went all over the world, Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, all over the world. Um, I've met guys that I've become friends with after the program that again, like their last ships were Asia, South America, Europe, you know, everywhere. Uh, so they go everywhere. Just matters what ship you get on what company you're working for so whoa 
you know what? I've written down here double questions down here, so I think that's about it. Actually, the next question, I know I've answered it before, but a lot of people always ask because they don't understand the difference between an STOS and an OS. And the question here is, does an STOS make more money than an OS? An STOS is a specially trained ordinary seaman. An OS is just an ordinary seaman. To get STOS, you need to take the RF PMW class, which is the rating forming part of a navigational watch. And basically, RF PMW allows you to stand watch. Uh, you can also steer under supervision, but that's it. You can't. You can stand watch as an extra, but you can't stand the actual watches. Some ships, mattering where they are, like when I was an OS, uh, when I was an OS, we had gone through a highly pirated area, and so they had me come up. Me and the, there's two OSs. I had one shift, and the other one had another shift, but they had us stand watches with the ABs because we're in the highly pirated area but does an STOS make more money than an OS that again depends on the company and the ship sometimes they'll just pay the OS is the same across the board um, if it is a ship that they are requiring you to be an STOS because they're gonna use you to stand watches then yeah, they're probably gonna pay you more as an STOS than a regular OS that can't stand watches. But from what I've seen, even a lot of ships, uh, they'll just pay the guys equally. If, if they're not doing watches, they'll pay the STOS and the OS the same wage. They're just across the board. But uh, that's it, I hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. Don't forget to check out my SIU apprenticeship playlist where all of what I could find, all the videos that I've made on SIU apprenticeship specific things, that's all gonna be in one playlist now. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.